How's you been? You got busy work today? Lots of busy work. Yeah, he, he originally said something involving Germany. He's like, I don't have a lot of work yet. And I'm like, well, oh, yeah. That's just for one project. Oh, uh, okay. So I was thinking like he was going to have like a lazy Friday, but then like a yeah, so was I. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. But then they dumped another project on you or something? Uh, no, someone submitted a it's broken ticket and I had to go fix it. Why do I fix everything I touch? Yeah, because I'm good. Fucking paladins and their fix it Felixness. So I'm having a little bit of a issue. So last weekend, last weekend, <laughs> I had the bum back. Monday didn't go to the gym, wound up doing Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Friday. <sighs> had a normal weekend, went to Zanskans, yada yada. Did Monday, did Wednesday, so chest and legs, and now I seem to have gotten some sort of like cold. Um, for those keen observers and also the ones that watch every day, um, I was a little bit puffy, red-eyed. One would think, one living in Amsterdam, I'd be stoned in that video, but I wasn't. I was just coming down with a 24-hour cold. And now I'm in the official, what I call, expurgation phase, where I have a runny nose and a cough and everything is trying to come out of me at once. I felt something happening, see? And it's not even all the bottles. These are just the ones to recycle, not the ones for Stadtiel. You can imagine if I had about 12 more bottles in there rather than the like eight that are in there. But anyways, I'm walking all the way to Albert Hein. Just because I want to walk rather than ride the bike. I'm also going to swing by the Studenten pump just to see what the fuck is in there. Um, I ha I've seen from the bike going back and forth that there's a little automat thing in there. Um, so I may pick up a costume plane. <laughs> just if they have them. But yeah, uh, whatever. My nose is completely, like yesterday it was stuffed up and now it's like the fucking Mariana, tr well not the Mariana's Trench, Grand, so what on Mars? Valles Marineris. Which makes you think that I'm gonna have something involving pizza. Although we will be having pizza tonight. Also, I don't have Corona. I haven't lost my sense of taste. I'm still drinking bitter as fuck coffee and eating spicy food. All right, student in pump. It's like right at the corner here and I just, I was always a little bit like, what is in it? I like lived here since middle of June, never actually went inside. Because <laughs> I kept going to Albert Hein or this, that, the other thing, and I just like, you know what? What the hell? Barely, there's nothing in there. Snackiest heaters. <laughs> so I didn't get <laughs> a uh, casse souffle. I just wound up picking up a Dava Egbert's ice cappuccino. Deliciously creamy, I don't care. It's coffee, it's something to drink. It's starting to sprinkle. Whatever. Bone Rotter said, off and to Rechen. So, whatevs. At least getting out and walking and getting steps in and getting the heart rate up a little bit gets everything flushing through the system without draining the energy too much. Well, a little thing about, you know, getting over being sick. Get up and walk. Go out and walk. Even if you walk around your neighborhood or walk around the block, get your heart rate up, get the blood flowing, get everything flushed out. Go home, take a shower, snot it all up. <laughs> I'll see you guys at Albert Hein. So I've noticed this the last like week or so. Every time I come by here, there's just a crazy amount of cooters down on the water. Like, do you guys see that? Just here, for a second, just. Look at those guys. I mean, occasionally when I'm going back into regular Oost, I keep seeing them kind of at high wind for the uh, 
near the Amsterdam Brew, but this has been like for weeks. Like I, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going through that kind of season. They're just sort of in the water, hanging out with each other. Some of them look like they're fighting. Well, isn't that cute? Got a Christmas tree up lit and everything. Sorry, cursed bomb or something. Oogie dookie. Swung by Atos. Picked up Neurofen. Uh, hay fever stuff. And then more Latakian cream for the tattoo. Uh, now I'm in Albert Hine and I have orange juice, pancakes, uh, ginger shot. <laughs> I tell you. If you think you may have lost your sense of taste, take some of this. <laughs> just for the hell of it, I might just get, I mean, I'm basically just walking home, so I don't need everything. I keep thinking I should pick freaking chocolate letters because they're cheap for all the family, but Aaron's like, I don't know if I want, like, come on, dude. I've got to ship people presents. They're dying off super fast. Oh, well, my parents are going like loosely crazy, so. Yeah, to be fair, my dad's already gone, um, and mom is on the way down, so. <laughs> At this point, food is pretty much the only thing that they're going to like. Because <sighs> it's so in the moment. Double frisk makes me happy, because I got apple, pear, white grape and lemon, raspberry and cranberry, passion fruit, and lime. It's just, they have so many combo of flavors. This one probably tastes great. Although that's not an actual blackberry. It always kind of worries me when I see one of those cranes go under the water, like diving for food, and I don't see them come back up. And I'm like, how long can you guys be under there? Or how far can you go? I mean, the cooters aren't going down for very long, but... Like that little guy out there. I don't know where that crane went. Crane, stork, long necked thing. In case you guys were all wondering, this is Steicher Island. Yeah, it's a. Got a bunch of houses out on the wharf there ish. Bunch of docks leading out to them. The dude had to have swum far, far away. There's no way he'd be underwater this long. I think it's actually really cute that that one house has like four stories. Oh, it's behind the pipes now. <laughs> the ventilation for the underground parking. But anyways, that one house has like four stories with like a rooftop terrace. <laughs> I don't even know if it's split into like two houses. I just like, this is really adorable. So in my multiple bike rides across this pathway and bridge and stuff, I'd seen signs coming off the freeway. I don't, I, I see them because they're on my far right side. But you see that building? See that section right there that's angled? It's starting to make sense what they're gonna put in there now. I mean, obviously it's residents. That people are gonna live there. They're just needing to block off the water so they can do some stuff because the water is probably gonna go right up to the building and people are gonna have personalized docks off the edge, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. There could just be a small greenery terrace around the edge, but that little angled part makes me think something. And when I get up to the sign here, I'll show you guys as best I can. So obviously people coming off the freeway from ring south and north, um, coming onto Zeebrugge Island, do definitely want to see these signs. You know, hey, do you want to get a house? That's really cool. Hey, discover your Eiber, which could be people that actually live here or whatnot. But it's this uh, Slouse house. I mean, I'm not necessarily say it's going to be that, but it's certainly looks like that building is going to be Slouse House with a little internalized uh, harbor area, marina. 
Hả? Hả? Why wasn't I told about this? I'm gonna always go check. But, you know. Oh, I probably could have seen it from that side too. Apparently it's right down the road.